Welcome back to FTL. We had just finished up Sector 4 when I last left off, so let's move on to Sector 5. We can go to either an Engi or a Zoltan controlled sector. I'm going to go through the Engi sector, so I will only have to face one hostile sector before the last fight. And let's see, excellent. We have a store, which I'm going to go to straight away because I'm running very low on hit points and I need to get that fixed up. And they have a couple weapons, too. Um, I should actually probably take that Ion Blast just because I need more firepower. I don't quite have enough scrap for it just yet, though, so I'm going to have to jump around a little bit and see if I can scrape together some funds. And this pirate, who's exceptionally well shielded, should provide just that. Uh, three Engi versus two Mantis is not much of a fight, so I'm not even going to worry about firing at this guy. Actually, no, that's a lie. I am going to fire one breach missile at his weapons to try and disable his missile launcher before he can get a shot off. Excellent. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. And there we go, piece of cake. And we get a little bit of extra scrap because the ship that we saved from the pirates was a rebel ship. And we don't like the rebels, so I destroyed them as well. Now I have more than enough scrap to get that ion blast. Although since I haven't come across cloaking yet, I'm wondering if I should buy drone control instead. Uh, it's it's possible to get through the final boss fight without either cloaking or drone control, but it's very difficult. I've only done it a few times, um, and never with this ship. So, and with the weapon pre igniter, I don't actually have to worry about enemy shields. So I'm actually going to buy drone control now. Hopefully, it'll give me a defense drone. It did. Excellent. That is exactly what I was hoping for. I'm gonna buy a couple things of fuel while I'm at it, and things are looking up. an empty sector, but now we have two distress signals to respond to. First one is a rescue mission that we can fix with our teleporter, and we get a whole bunch of scrappers of reward. Check out the second distress signal. And this one was a trap. Or wait, no it wasn't. It was a small Engi ship under attack by a rebel fighter. So, not a trap, but uh Oh, now this is actually going to be a tricky fight, because they have a Defense Drone Mark II, which means it'll be able to shoot down both my missiles and my lasers. And he's got two levels of shielding, so I can't actually count on my burst laser to cut through his shields. I'm actually going to have to sit back and wait for my artillery beam to do the work for me, uh, which is going to be pretty boring, I'm afraid. So, uh, if you want to go get a cup of coffee or something, this is a good fight to do so during... I could send my Mantis over to board him, but it would be a two on it would be a four on two fight, and I'm not sure they would survive that. Alright, now that the artillery beam has taken down their shields one level, I'm gonna take a risk and fire both of my weapons. Hopefully at least a couple shots will get through their defense drone, and we'll see what happens. Uh they did, but then the missile missed, and that kind of defeated the purpose, so... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. What I'm actually going to try and do is time everything out so that my weapons fire at the same time as the artillery beam. Yeah, I got like one laser blast through, but the missile got shot down, and I don't want to waste these missiles. All right. 
Alright, he's down to one hit point. Let's see if my burst laser can make it through. There we go, excellent. That was a rather long fight. Uh, here the Engi are offering us that Engi medbay upgrade that we saw when I did the Engi ship playthrough. It's pretty expensive, and like I said, it's nice, but it's not critical, so I'm actually not going to take it. Uh, I feel a little bad not helping them out, but I am... I need every little bit of scrap I can get with this ship. Uh, I'm going to hold off on doing any more upgrades for now, because it's time to start thinking about hopefully getting cloaking and hopefully getting maxed out shields. Giant alien spiders, I have no means of doing that safely, so we'll say no. Check out this distress beacon. i get some free missiles, drone parts, and scrap. I have 150 scrap now. I'm going to make one more jump before the rebels catch up with me. And it's an empty sector. But there's a store there. And I have just enough for cloaking. So if this has cloaking, I'm going to be in extremely good shape. Nope. No such luck. Uh, it has a couple weapons, none of which I'm super interested in. Uh, the automated reloader is great, because obviously that will make me fire more quickly, which is super handy with that slow-loading missile launcher I have. And then for lack of any better weaponry, I'm actually just going to have to buy this heavy laser. Um, it's not great, but it's one more thing I can throw at the bad guys, so I'm going to have to take it. While I'm at it, I'm going to buy one more reactor upgrade so I can get that defense drone online sooner rather than later. Now you can see here the Rebel Fleet has already passed the exit beacon, so there's no reason for me not to visit this last sector and at least see what it is. Uh, this is basically what I mean when I say farming the sector. And we get some pirates who are about to get severely mantis And there we go, that was a quick fight. Quick 59 scrap in exchange. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy one more engine room upgrade and one more reactor square. This means that depending on what the rebel ship that I end up fighting has equipped, I can either just max out my engines and charge up and get out of there faster, or I can turn on my defense drone and take them out. And he's got two weapon, he's got two missile launchers, so I am actually going to absolutely turn on that defense drone, and at the same time, I'm trying to decide whether it's worth spending any ammunition on this guy, and I don't think it is. Uh, trading missiles for one fuel is just not worth it. And because these missile launchers that he has have very different cooldowns, odds are they won't both fire at once at any point. Well, that was close, but my defense drone took care of that. So yeah, once I'm charged up, I'm just going to jump out of here. There's no reason to stick around. Alright, I'm going to head to the last friendly sector we're going to encounter. And there's a store right there, so I'm going to do a little bit of exploring before I visit it. We have an unmanned scout ship that is trying to jump away, so I'm going to immediately fire a missile at its engine room. Which will hit! Excellent! Now I'm just going to wait for that to charge up again and try to take out their shields. That's annoying. Thankfully, my missile hit them, so... With his shielding down, this fight should be over very shortly. There we go. Got 
got some decent scrap for that. Not as much as I would have liked, but it's better than nothing. And we jump next to a nearby sun. Uh, I am absolutely not invading that ship. Two Rockmen and a Mantis and an Engie is not a fight my boarding party can win. So instead, I'm going to turn on the defense drone, because they've got that dual missile launcher layout, and I'll see if I can take down their shields with a breach missile. Nope. No such luck. Uh, my burst laser, too, can't even get through that many shields, so I'm just going to have to sit and wait for my missile launcher to recharge. Alright, that one hit, so now I can send some missiles through to follow that. Uh, I'm actually not going to send anybody in to fight that fire. I'm just going to suck all the air out. I will not accept surrender from you guys. You guys are dicks. There we go. Took them down. Let's see if I can jump away before that flare comes in. Nope. Not quite. Let's see where the fire started. Right in my teleporter room. Okay. My mantis will take care of that. Uh, it's saying my med bay is on fire as well. That's worrisome. Yep, so it is. Gotta get everything fixed up. Finish repairing my sensors. And let's see what the store's got. Nothing I really want. Uh, so I'm just gonna fix up my ship and jump away. There's another store up there that I might be able to get to, so I'm gonna head up in that general direction. We have another enemy mercenary. Once I get my sensors repaired, I'll be able to see what he's got on board as far as crew goes, and then I'll be able to decide, wow, no, he is very well uh, protected. So I am not going to be able to take this guy in a boarding action, at least not immediately. Shields go down, or at least get weakened. He's got cloaking as well, which is annoying. Thankfully, I'm getting lucky with my missile launcher, and it's not missing very often. And now he's trying to jump away, now he's offering surrender, but nope, too late. And we once again, we get some decent scrap out of that. Alright, I will make it, make it to this store in time, so let's see what they've got. Beam or anti-ship drone, neither one of those is going to be particularly useful. And I'm pretty much good on other supplies, so I'm just going to have to jump away, unfortunately. I'm going to aid a civilian ship, we got some pirates. We've got a lot of mantis, but fortunately, they're going to board first. Which means I can hopefully take care of about half of their crew. Maybe a little bit more than half, because I'm actually... No, there's no reason to spend weaponry on these guys. That said, I've got to remember to turn off my artillery beam. And you can see I only healed up my dudes part way because I just wanted to make sure that they could force them to teleport off. Now I'll spend a missile on... Yes, excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. I hit their med bay, which had a dude in it who got killed by the explosion. Now their med bay is disabled, so that other mantis, who actually may not have survived the trip over, 
And so now they're stuck with a mantis trying to fix their med bay, which is not going to go quickly at all. And I can go in and take them out. Oh, and I accidentally used another breach missile. That's okay. Make sure I'm winning these damage races. Yes. Alright, good. It was very close, though. We got, a, we got over a hundred scrap from that, if I'm doing my math right. And one of my mantises is fully combat experienced now, which is very good news. There's another store over here, which is... Excellent. Let's see what they've got. Come on, give me cloaking or a weapon, something. Ugh, same thing as last time. Um, I really don't need any of this. Uh, it may be time to just go for the last shield upgrade. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yep, there we go. Now we have full shields, 40% evasion, which is good. We have an almost fully upgraded artillery beam, which is also good. I have at least one defense drone, which is better than nothing. Uh, offering repair damage for scrap. We are at full health. Hey, this distress beacon was a trap. I'm going to wait for my burst laser to take down the Zoltan shield. I don't want to waste missile ammo on it. There we go. And now I'm going to target their weapons bay because I want to damage their mantis and hopefully disable their weaponry. Yeah, there we go. With that done, I can turn off my weapons and send my boarding crew over because I'm pretty sure I can win this fight. You know what, I'm actually going to use one more breach missile on their weapons bay, just to make sure they don't get any more missile shots off at me. That probably wasn't necessary, but missiles are fun when you can afford to use them. And there we go, and we got 56 scrap and another breach missile launcher. Um... It's going to be really funny if I end up having to do, like, an all-missile final boss fight. Uh, and that may be in the cards at this point. I'm not sure how, how well I'll get through the second form, but, uh, gotta take what I can get now. With that, let's jump to the exit. Uh, fuel for drone parts. Now I'm, I'm doing fine on both. Alright, and it looks like the last sector we're going to be going through is rock-controlled. Find ourselves in an asteroid field, fighting a lost and aggressive rock ship, according to the flavor text. I think this is another one where I'm going to spend a missile to try and soften up one of their crew, and then... Actually, with three rock men on board, I, I don't want to take that risk. These borders are pretty critical to my endgame plans right now, so I need to keep them alive. I'll remember to turn on my defense drone because he's about to fire a missile at me. Now, even if I wanted to board their ship, they're out of shields and so low on health that an asteroid would have destroyed them very soon before I did. Get some more scrap out of that. And I'm going to jump up here because I have a hunch that that lone beacon up there might be a store. Uh, more slavers. We hate slavers. Uh, three Rockmen, two Zoltan, and a Midbay. 
I guess I'm just going to have to force these guys to surrender. And they have a Glaive Beam, which is the most powerful beam weapon in the game. Uh, so, hopefully they won't get much chance to use that on us. Alright, if this missile hits their med bay, I'm actually going to be able to send over my boarding party. Uh, they're already surrendering. Mm. No, I'd rather get the scrap from boarding them and killing the remainder of their crew, so I'm actually going to board them after all. Just gotta remember to turn off all my stuff before I do so. Yeah, and I'm fighting injured rockmen and Zoltan, so I think I can win these fights. And I can always teleport my crew back off their ship real quick if it gets too dicey. Let's go see what kind of health this guy has. Uh, he's pretty high. I may have to flee. Yeah. I'm going to play it safe here. He's not going anywhere, and... The long cooldown time of this will actually give me time to heal up my dudes. Actually, you know what? His health is low enough that I might just be able to kill him with a breach missile. Yep. Excellent. We get another free crew member. We're full up. Uh, and I kind of like who we've got, so I'm gonna accept the Engi and then just dismiss him, because I don't actually need him around, but at least we did a good deed. And I was right, that thing up there in the corner was a store. It just seems to me like stores tend to lurk in the corners of maps for whatever reason. Uh, so I almost always check them out. Once again, no weaponry and no drones that I actually want. Getting a little low on missiles, so I'll buy those three that they have for sale. And then... I think it's time to upgrade my weapon systems at least one more time. Actually, you know what? I'm going to max out my artillery beam instead, because I really need the free shield-piercing damage it does. I'm going to buy a couple more units of power and max out my door system as well. So now, now the artillery beam fires every 20 seconds, so it's on par with some of the slower, normal weapons. And uh, my doors are maxed out, so I'll be much safer uh, in terms of borders, etc., Pirate ship with two rock men and a Zoltan. I'm just going to plug them with a missile and then send my boarders in. They don't have a med bay, so I don't have to worry about that. Forgot about my artillery beam. And there we go. We won the damage race. We got some scrap. They're offering us a free crew member. It's a human. There's absolutely no reason for me to bring another human on board my ship. And we're doing very good on scrap again. At this point, I'm going to buy the last two bits of reactor power, because we're going to need them. Uh, now I can power everything and the defense drone and still have one left over for the time being, but that is very rapidly going to get sucked up in other systems. And we will jump away. Here we have pretty large rock assault ship <laughs> that sent three boarders into my med bay. Okay. I'm going to turn on my defense drone and hit their shields with a breach missile. Follow that up with the burst laser. And there we go. Their shields are down. 
and my Mantis will... Oh, man, they teleported yet another guy on. Well, thankfully I have my Rock Man who can keep him at least occupied. Uh, they're offering us some good f fuel, some very good scrap, and a free augment, but we're not actually going to be able to take that augment because I'm full up, and I like the ones I have, so I'm just not going to accept surrender. Those other rockmen teleport back onto their ship to kind of frantically try and get it fixed up. But I don't think that's going to save them. Nope. And we got some more missiles out of that, and the same amount of scrap we would have gotten if we had accepted their surrender. So, that was an alright trade. And hooray, I found another store. Uh, I'm going to make a few more jumps before I get there, though, because I'm really hoping it has cloaking or an ion blast mark II or another burst laser, just something, you know, that I actually need. I could do the old boarding routine with these guys, but fighting Rockman just takes so long. <laughs> they have too many hit points, just a pain, so I'm not going to worry about it. There we go. 47 scrap means we've almost got to that magic 150 that we would need for cloaking. Now these guys don't have a med bay, so I'll probably actually fight them. Just gotta weaken them with a missile, hopefully. Nope, no such luck. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna spend one more breach missile on these guys and hit them with the artillery beam. Hopefully that will soften them up and then I can send in my boarding party. Yes, yes, please, no, all of you, crowd into that one room where I can hit you all with a missile. That's great. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Because now, they are all severely weakened. And I turned off my artillery beam just in time there. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, my, my other Mantis crew member leveled up his combat skills by destroying a system. I did not know they got experience for that. I thought it was only from killing enemy crew members. So that's good to know. These guys are just frantically repairing their shields instead of actually fighting me, which is interesting. That taken care of, I'm going to go into the... Well, it doesn't really matter where I go when it's a one-on-one -on -one fight like this. Mantis, this is getting a little low, but he should be okay. Yep, there we go. Oh, and we got a free ion bomb out of it. Getting a lot of missile weapons this playthrough. Um, that ion bomb may end up being useful, though, if I don't get anything else by the final boss, because being a bomb weapon, it'll bypass shields, so I'll be able to use it against the uh, second form. So I may actually end up showing off the ion bomb, which <laughs> I didn't think I ever would, because I normally don't like them at all. Uh, still no weapons, still no cloaking. It looks like we're going into the endgame without cloaking and with only one defense drone. This is going to be interesting. I'm definitely going to hang on to that ion bomb because I may need it. Uh, don't have time to visit both distress beacons and the exit, so I'm just going to visit this lower one. Uh, sure, I'll lead you to your destination. I won't have time, but at least I get a little bit of free scrap for it. Alright, let's jump out of here. And we'll just scrap this guy. I don't really need to pick the fight, and 
I would rather get out of here. All right, so we have made it through all of the normal sectors. We are about to enter the final part of the game, and that is what I will do next time. See you then.